What is going on stackers? Small Stack Bullion back at you again with a really special video today. Now, you may remember last week or the week before, I packed up a parcel for uh, Serpent Silver. There's a little trade deal, you know, uh, where's a handshake? Trade deal. Um, full of some British half pennies, British coins, etc. Now, we have received a response back. I have already opened it just to screen it um, in case there was any sen uh, name sensitive documents because I don't really want to get myself doxxed. Um, but a massive thank you, massive thank you um, to uh, Serpent Silver for going going through and we we go went through together and it thank you serpent silver thank you very much for this excellent trade deal you're you're a real top notch guy top notch youtube channel top notch everything if you haven't already make sure you go and subscribe to his channel i'll put his channel in the link in the description and as you can see i've covered up addresses with good old trusty uh, blue electrical tape now i think we should just get straight into unboxing this excellent package um yeah as i've said i've already already opened it so we have a handwritten note uh excellent thing small stack bullion thanks for agreeing to trade with me you definitely got the better end of the deal i hope you enjoy these coins sorry about the pennies i didn't want the roll to break open i'm really looking forward to watching your channel grow keep up the great work from Serpent Silver. Well, thank you very much. You're a proper, you're a proper guy. You are. Um, I'll, and as, as I said uh, just now, I'll be linking his channel in the description. So pop that over here. Um, yes. So uh, he was good. He, he has, and he was gonna. He had. He sent me some pennies, uh, American ones, uh, proper copper. Um, they were gonna be in a roll, but. In case the roll broke open, he put them in a bag. So we will take that out and we will toss that away. Um, but this is the main package. We have the pennies on top and everything else on the inside. So let us, let's angle the camera down just a smidge and we'll bring it forward. Perfect. I've got a pair of scissors this time. Let us cut the pennies free from the parcel. Now, it, uh, that's this is another good thing about Serpent Silver. He packages, he, well, uh, feels of it. He packages things very, very well and very, very tightly and efficiently. Which is stick that there which is an excellent thing when you don't want things to come apart in postage. Um, less good when you when you come to open them, but all good things come to those who wait. Um, oh, goodness me. I think what we're going to do... Okay. Oh, I would move to my bag. I think what we're going to do, I think we're just going to slice it open. Yeah. Because I'm. That is a very tightly wrapped package of oh, pennies. There we go. Crikey. That's a lot of sense. <laughs> um, so we are. That is many cents. I believe there's 50 in a roll. All Lincoln pennies. What year is this one? This one's a 1975 Lincoln penny. So that's very nice. They are very cool. Thank you very much for that serpent silver. That's a 1973 one. There you have got. They have got very very nice designs for them over there. They just. That's another thing. They are upside down every time you turn them around. That's a bit strange, but thank you very much for that serpent silver. We'll pop that there for now. Now, 
onto what is in here. I've already opened it as well, so that there's we don't need to um, theft about with opening it and breaking anything. But look at that. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yeah, we can. Sort of, is there anything else in there? Uh, nope, we can toss that away. Ooh, okay, there's extra stuff on the back, right. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we have a Morgan dollar, 1921, uh, half dollar, a quarter, uh, oh, I'm gonna get this wrong, a nickel and a dime. No, a dime and a nickel. You have, Okay, that is one thing that I'm not, I don't understand about American money is the names. Because I know, I understand dollar, half dollar, quarter. That kind of makes a bit of sense. But then you go on to, uh, and now I'm going to say that one's a nickel and that one's a dime. And I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I think a nickel is 10 cents and a dime is 5 cents. So I think that's how it works. They are, yeah, it's quite a nice way of packaging. Oh, and then of course we have the, oh, the, the I think that's almost brand new. That's the, one of the new, oh, Serpent Silver Poker Chips. That's another one. It's the second one. Officially got a collection of poker chips now. Gonna need, I think I need to buy some of those little stands, like, you know the ones that um, cra the Cranky Stacker keeps is all of the poker chips he gets sent on. I think I need to get one of them. Ooh, that looks excellent. Right, I'm gonna have to... God. Serpent Silver, you package things extremely well. <laughs> Hang on, I need to... Oh, sellotape. There we are. Oh no, wrong thing. I'm gonna stick it on that. Right, let's open. It's sticky now, but no worries. As you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be a long old video. I suppose that's NS to make up for the vid, the shorter video I did on Monday. But look at that. That is fresh off the press, if I'm not mistaken. As of about a week ago, I think he's a brand new to his channel. So that is really nice. I think that looks really cool. And a little plug of my own merch. I'll be getting some soon. I'll probably do like a little video unboxing them. Uh, but I will give, them, give some of them away when we reach 100 subscribers on this channel. So yeah, that looks really really nice yeah look at that that's amazing. that goes that'll go well with my uh stack collector poker chip look at that we got two we're building up a collection if anybody else wants to send me their poker chips dm me we're gonna have a nice big old stack <laughs> um pop that over there um yes now i don't want to damage but i think i have an idea of what this is so Yes, it is. Right. Ooh. It is a Serpent Silver sticker. That, and that, I believe these are also off the fresh off the printing press as well. But check that out. That is a proper channel sticker. I need to, I think I might need to get some channel stickers. We'll pop that one up there for now. Well, hang on. We have, I've planned for this because we have trusty bit of blue tack that I will promptly place on back because I don't, I don't know if I'm planning on keeping uh, McBlock back here but it makes it look really nice there we are so that is that now for the main event or soon enough the main event because now we have to figure out how to get coins off oh, goodness me goodness me mr S up and silver you package things extremely
extremely well, or you use bulletproof <laughs> sellotape. Either one, I think what I may do is I may just, I don't want to damage the coins. Oh, cripes. Right, jump cut. Right, we are back. Uh, hopefully the editing magic worked that out, but we have it open. Um, may have made a little bit of hash up of it, but it's quite ingeniously packaged because then we can just, oh no, don't tell me I can't get them out. There we are. Just get them out and it's just in the hole. That is really nice. So I think the first thing we need to do is have a look at this Morgan dollar. Look at that. It's a 1921 one looking in very fine condition. I have to say, compared to our English coins, they look, feel, and sound quite grand compared to ours. But look at that, that is a really nice Morgan dollar. We'll pop that, pop that over here in the sea of pennies. Next, we've got a half dollar. Yep, that's a half dollar. So we've got Benjamin Franklin, if I'm not too mistaken. Yes, Benjamin Franklin. I know my history. <laughs> uh, Benjamin Franklin. Uh, is that, that's the Liberty Liberty Bell with the crack on. Yep. It's all. These are all 90% silver. Uh, yes, they are 90% silver because it's 1967 before. Uh, the Amer the US used uh, uh, silver in their coins much longer than we ever do this. Pretty pretty good. That, but that's a really nice example of half dollar. That looks pretty much uncirculated. So that will go on there. That looks very nice. Thank you very much for that Serpent Silver. And the next one, we've got a quarter. This one's uh, worn, but I think we can just about make out the date on it. Hang on, let me see if we can zoom in. Does it say? I think that's 1925. So that'll be 90% silver. Uh, yeah, that looks, it looks very nice, and uh, with this, I think I have a full set of the silver, um, these silver American coins, at least, I think I will, um, because I don't, I don't really know how American coins work, but let us see, this one I think is a nickel, so that is five cents. Okay, so that's a five cent coin, which I believe is a nickel. So that is 1945 with, um, I don't know who that is. Is that Andrew Jackson? Uh, I don't know. But I wouldn't expect um, many people in the US to know all of the uh, kings from centuries gone by off by heart so it goes either way i suppose but yeah that looks very nice very very well kept thank you for that as well serpent silver and then finally we move on to the dime i know a dime because it's got a strange name i believe that is 10 cents if i'm not mistaken that's a 1912 dime um i know and i know you've got um different names for dimes and then you got well, you've got you've got the Mercury dime, you've got the Ike dime. Oh, I'm showing myself up as a bit of a twit here. But yeah, that also looks very nice. Thank you very much for that serpent silver. And there we are. We'll pop that out. We've got a nice little arrangement there. I think we'll actually. What we'll do is no, I don't. Can't, don't really take that off. We'll pop that there. We'll pop the thing on there, and we will come out of the stand and zoom in onto them. Thank you very much for this excellent trade, Serpent Silver. Well, now it is um, over to you in the United States.